Yo, it's your boy, Jenna, and in today's video, we are going to talk about the worst animes of 2023. Now, the animes I'm going to talk about, I don't think they're like the absolute worst of the worst. I think there's anime that has that's way worse out there, but I'm pretty sure I never heard of them. Yeah, these, these animes are just, to me, were like very boring, just not my preference. So if you do enjoy the animes I'm going to talk about, that's fine this is just my opinion so with that out of the way let's just see what the worst animes of 2024 shall we guys the first one i'm gonna talk about is called liar liar and no this is not like a jim carrey knockoff this is something very very different it's about like an academy island and it's about these students who play these games and they hope to win these stars and they hope to get like this prestigious title called seven stars and i guess that sounds a little bit cool here and there and we get to learn our main character called hiroto and he luckily beat these one of these students who had these seven stars and he now has to like bluff his way to be to stay on top and be on top or whatever so yeah another the, the whole thing kind of makes no sense here because he did beat this student here that has seven stars but apparently he has to lie about it because it, it's not a good thing for him to win even though he won so I don't understand why he has to lie for the whole thing to work so yeah big confusion there and he also gets really lucky when he won so I feel like it doesn't feel like he's even good you know uh, it would have been better if he won the games like fair and square to show he's actually really good. The games that they play were very boring. You know, there's one staring contest, one about a race, and he also cheats. So it's not like a very satisfied. I don't really feel satisfied when he wins. It's just like, oh, he cheats the all the way the whole show. And I only went through like four episodes before I just got really bored of it. And this is the type of show where all the characters he meets are a bunch of cute girls. So we seen I've seen a lot of shows where uh, where um, the main character meets a bunch of girls. You know, there's a lot of animes that do that kind of weird thing when they don't need to. Now, granted, they are a bunch of cute girls. So I mean, the animation is pretty fine. Uh, the side characters here, I will say they're kind of odd. They they look like they're a bunch of cardboards. And I'll never understand what that was about. They just don't talk and they just look like cardboards. Like they couldn't just draw like normal people like in, in crowds and stuff like that. So yeah, the next one we I have here is called Buta Reba. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, the story of a man turned into a pig. And that's exactly what, and yeah, the title tells you exactly what the story is about. So yeah, the story is about this guy who eats raw pig liver for whatever reason. And suddenly he turns into a pig. <laughs> he wakes up into like a whole different world. And he meets this girl, this beautiful girl called Jess. And we kind of and we kind of figure that this guy, he's kind of a perv. Uh, he, he just says his inner thoughts like... like thinks about her of the girl who we find out that she's kind of like a maid she runs the whole farm and yeah we find out that she can read his mind so she she was reading his mind this whole time him being a perv and I was like weird yeah I was weird this whole yeah he yeah he looked like he accepted being a pig he like looked like he even like liked being a pig because she was saying some weird fan service stuff here yeah, and the rest of the show is her, her trying to make him go back to normal i guess yeah they're trying to make him go back to like a human form i guess i don't know i mean there's 11 episodes but i feel like the the ending really wasn't there i think they canceled this show is because uh, it just suddenly stopped and yeah most of the episode is just the pig and Jess 
hanging around in the village, having their own kind of adventure. And yeah, I didn't like it. I feel like Jess was just there for like the fan service. I mean, were some good moments with her, sure. And I didn't like this main character. He looked like a pig and act like a pig. So yeah, maybe if you're like a fan of like reincarnation animations, which there's a lot by the way, you probably like this one. But for me, I didn't. I don't like those kind of genres, and I don't like this one at all. Just <laughs> did not like this one. Didn't even finish it. I was trying to fast forward it just to see to get more details of this show. But yeah, this one was a, a huge pass. And finally, we have our last one. And this one has like a hard name, so forgive me for saying it wrong. But this one's called Kami Irabi God Dot App. So yeah, we got a bunch of high schoolers who who got like this random text on their phones, and they got like powers or whatever, and they became like this god world, and they became like a god. And they have to fight each other or become alliances and just whoever whoever is the last standing wins so yeah the one thing you'll notice when you like what like if you look up this anime is that uh it's 3d animation here so yeah it just looks very wonky here so if you're not like a fan of like 3d animation i mean this show is literally it. just the animation here is not that good it looks very wonky not only that but they were so lazy with this animation guys that the side characters they decided to not even add them color they're just straight up gray <laughs> yeah they actually they actually decided that that was a good idea and you know some of these side characters do talk so it's kind of weird when they do talk when you feel like they're not really important and I didn't really like none of the characters here. They were just bad. The friend was the worst one here. I just hated him. I forgot. No, I don't remember none of their names. So sorry about that. Nothing about. Yeah. I lasted around two episodes here. So let me know how it ended for you guys. I mean it has 12 episodes. So it was a very short series. Couldn't really handle it. I mean, two episodes was so hard for me to watch. So yeah, it seems like a lot of people gave this rating really, really bad, and rightfully so. I mean, is the story pretty cool? Uh, probably. I don't know. I mean, you get like a random text, and you get like this wish, and you become some. You get some cool powers, and I feel like we've seen that kind of story before so maybe it's not that unique so yeah guys that is it for this episode uh i didn't want to go to every single detail for these shows because uh they were pretty bad for me so yeah let me know your worst anime of 2023 i probably won't make a video about those but yeah i'm up i'm pretty close to 100 subscribers guys so yeah be sure to like and subscribe guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.